Hi, I'm Heather Hemmons from Hellcats, and you're watching Clever TV. Hey guys, welcome back to Clever TV. I'm Jocelyn Davis, hanging out in the lounge with my partner in crime, Dana Ward. Hey guys. And today we are very excited to have joining us for the first time ever from Hellcats. She plays Alice. It's Heather Hemming. I'm a partner in crime too. Yes, yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. ladies. We can be like Charlie's Angels. I'm yes. just saying. Let's do it. Michelle's They're about to do that, yeah. I know, too bad they already cast those roles. Oh, well. <laughs> we would have been perfect. <laughs> so we're nearing the end, Hellcat season one. Um, so many crazy things have happened, and I think a lot of the craziness and the great, just really drama moments can be attributed to Alice. How do you classify the character that you play? Well, I should hope so. I'd like to take credit for all those moments. I mean, Alice is very dynamic. You know, she's so feisty. And then as we move on through the season, we start to see that she's really a, um, a character with some softness to her. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I love being able to use both sides of that personality. Um, now we see her a lot using that softness to work her way back in with Lewis and kind of justify her actions with um, her vulnerabilities. Of course, this first season had what, like 20, or has 22 episodes yeah. or something. Um, looking back, is there a favorite moment or a favorite scene um, that you have with Alice? I, my moment that comes to mind is um, in episode four when we saw her hit rock bottom and she freaks out and throws um, a metal water bottle at Lewis's head. <laughs> and for me, that moment, it was like, yes, like she finally broke. And then we see her process from there. It was like that moment that really defined her, I think, where she hit her lowest point and realized like, okay, I need to really learn how to control my anger and, um, and I need to do something about my feelings about Lewis and, and how I'm going to deal with that now. And I feel like before the show even officially got picked up, there was so much hype and buzz surrounding it. Obviously, some of your co-stars are like well known from the past. Um, so, what was your audition process like? I mean, did you already know who was cast, and how many auditions did you have to go through? To I went job? through seven auditions, and oh um, through the whole process, I was aware that that Ashley Tisdale uh -huh. was involved with it, and I think Ali Mashalka was just coming on board. Um, so I went in just as a regular audition, a pre-read with the casting director, and then I had a couple work sessions with Kevin Murphy, who is our executive producer, and I worked with him several times, and then um, as it progressed, I went on and did the dance audition, which... Ooh, they made me like? break it down. They did, and I'm, <laughs> I'm not a dancer, I'm just an actress, so I went in there like, all right, this might be where I get cut. Um, it, it was like a cheer slash dance routine, and uh -huh. it was a really great routine. It's like it was long; it was like 32 bars, and I was like, "Oh God!" Wow. Um, and there was five of us girls uh, that went into that audition. For the same, you were all going for the same. Yeah, role. yeah. Oh, so we all hour. exactly oh. um, dance and battle. We, and we did <laughs> and we did a chemistry dance with the guys that were auditioning for the role of Lewis. Oh. And so yeah, there's like this really awkward like you're like dancing and then you're trying to like vibe with the guy and it, it was awkward, <laughs> but. Um, yeah, so we did the dance audition, and then it came down to me and one other girl that moved from the dance audition to the test. And I was I was surprised, but I was like, all right, cool. Um, and then we did the test for CW, and um, moving past that, we did the test for Warner Brothers. So it was it was a lengthy process, but it's worth it. Fight Definitely. through to the end. To fight for the role. <laughs> yeah, out there, you know, <laughs> always, always. And then you know you meet the rest of the cast. Obviously, it's an ensemble cast. Yeah. How did you guys bond? Because I feel like when you watch the show, you can really sense that there's that real legitimate chemistry between you guys. Well, you know, I was nervous at first. I I was like, I don't know Ashley Tisdale. I mean, I. I didn't know if there was going to be cattiness. I mean, it's called Hellcats and it's cheerleaders. Yeah, and I was like, oh, God, I, I don't know what I'm in for. But I was like, you know what? I'm here to work. And whatever it's going to be, I can handle it. And I'll just, you know, I'll just do my job and stay out of the drama. Uh, and then we got to Vancouver, and there was no drama. We awesome. bonded. We had the greatest time. Ashley is like a sister. She's such a sweetheart. Um, Allie is just an amazing professional. She is so talented and um, so driven and a really a great uh, a lead for the show. And it was very, very, um, I, I was just very proud to be part of that cast when I got up there. And I was like, oh, this is the group of people I'm working with. And uh, it all worked out very well. I've been really spoiled with my first time around on a big show, it being such a great experience. Some dreamy guys as well, I have to add them in. Yeah, you're right. Yes, yeah. very dreamy. Not too shabby. No, our cast is amazing. Everyone from Red Raymond and Dan Patch and everything, it's, um, it's a great cast. Now, I really want to know 
you guys do so many crazy cheerleading moves. Jocelyn and I both grew up cheerleading, and it's really amazing to see that. Now, how much are you actually doing? And what have you learned in the process? We do a lot, especially towards the end of the season. Um, in the beginning of the season, we had dance doubles and we had stunt doubles, and we would rely on them to do our backflips and to do all the tosses in the air. And we would do everything on the ground, all of our dance moves. Mm -hmm. um, are us but then as the season progressed I was like you know what let me try that move let me let me try going up and then I'm really excited for the season finale um, that's airing this week I go up and do uh, a Liberty and then I do it into an extension where I hold my leg out and they literally threw me up in the air and I did this and they're gonna use it in the in the final cut oh my gosh have you seen of, it of yet the finale I have just seen that like portion of it I haven't seen the entire episode but yeah they're oh using the um, the clip where I actually go up in the air and I'm, I'm very proud of that so so there was kind of this progression of what we became capable of as the season goes on and I think by season five I just I won't need a stunt double at all I'll have no, no, no. I'll get my we'll back flips all. and all yeah, yeah. exactly because that's I, not a novice move at no all. it's that's not you guys yeah. it's like she's standing on a guy right. like, on guys hands like 10 all feet the in the air up there yeah. balancing on one leg <laughs> okay yeah, it's nerve-wracking. It's insane. But it took the season, I think, to build that trust in yeah. the, the people that were that are down there holding me up like this and knowing that they're going to catch me and that I'm good no matter what. But you have a whole team of pros behind you guys kind of like teaching you along yes. the way, right? Yes. Our, the Hellcat backup dancers are an amazing group of people from Olympic gymnasts to people that have been competing on So You Think You Can Dance. Um, they are, so, um, we have some dancers from Cirque du Soleil who, Ooh, yes. I mean, these cool. guys are so amazing and to have them on set and to see what they're capable of is very inspiring and to see how hard they work to keep their bodies in shape and to not get hurt and not have those injuries. It's like, oh, that's what's required of a dancer. It's pretty hardcore. Well, you have to be in really, really good shape to feel fabulous wearing yeah. those outfits, which are really <laughs> nothing. Um, but I mean, it's, it's not that warm in Vancouver. What do you guys oh, do God. to stay warm in those it's outfits? It's not, and our bellies are out like in every episode. Um, you know, for me, I had this big red jacket. It's like, it's called a Canada uh, goose. And it's like the famous <laughs> jacket in, in Canada. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> And, um, and it's this big red jacket, so you'd always know when I was coming because I'd be like yeah. all bundled up in this thing and it has like the fur. Um, and as long as I was in my jacket, I was happy. So that's kind of what I learned is you have to dress for the weather up there. And I learned this growing up in Maine that, you know, as long as I'm warm, I'm happy. Yeah, I definitely don't want to get sick while you're shooting. Uh-uh, because there is no one that can show up and substitute for you. It's like yeah. Alice has got to be there every day. <laughs> And yeah. I actually saw, Sniffles I mean, we've all. all seen the preview for the season finale, May 17th, yeah. it's coming up, <clears throat> and it seems like, it's called, wait, what is it called? Um, I'm sick, y'all? Yes. I'm sick, That's the name of the episode. It seems Good. like there's a little bit of sickness going around. Give there us a is. little teaser for the finale. Well, um, someone gets sick and it definitely jeopardizes nationals. I, I can't tell you to what degree, but the episode definitely goes into like a frantic free-for-all about you know the illness, and it has a, a domino effect on, on the squad. It doesn't sound good, but the show would be nothing <laughs> without drama. Yes, it makes have, for good television. You guys have also, I have to add, had some amazing musical guest performances, and, and a lot of you guys yeah. have performed on the mm -hmm. show yeah. as well. Hoping to see you soon perform. Soon. Yeah. What's it been like having like 303 and Sierra? Oh my gosh. It's been so great. You know, we had this band, Broke Down Cadillac. Um, Sierra was awesome. She was, oh, I've been a fan of hers for years, and mm -hmm. she came on set and was just such a sweetheart. And I'd like to say we were besties right from the start. <laughs> we had a good time. She can, oh, well, everybody knows, she can dance her butt off. Yeah, totally. And to see that in person and just to see how easy it was for her and so fluid, I, I think she kind of like put some of the dancers on our show to shame. They were like, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Watch out. Yeah, so she was good. What do you think that would be something that maybe our viewers could find out that happens behind the scenes that they would be surprised about? Because everybody wants to know, like, obviously they see the show, mm -hmm. but what's happening that we don't see? That's cool. Well, I know? think people would be surprised to the degree that of how we actually do get along. Because, I mean, we say, oh, we get along very well mm -hmm. and everybody's friends, but we really, really get along. Even, we hang out a lot, we like hang, on set. We hang out a lot. We go out for dinner, even though we've already spent 12 hours together on yeah. set. <laughs> and even now that we're all home in L.A. through the break, we've been having dinner. Um, Robbie and I were at the same party last night, and we just been having a really great time so we're have become a really tight close family it's been now, it's been a blessing what do you have in common with Alice <laughs> what do you think that you and she have similarly anything at all well I would say that we're both very brave um, we're both loyal 
and we both really believe in uh, in the things and family that we love, and we'll fight for that to the death. Um, the way we go about it is kind of different. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would I would never indulge in the manipulative things that she does and stuff. Um, and I choose my words carefully because I know that it can be very hurtful to to people when you. Um, attack them in a certain way, but Alice would just plow through. So yeah. there's some no differences. In the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming by the studio. It's been thank so you for fun having me. chatting with you and getting all the deets. Yes, thank you for and having of me. Of course, we will be tuning in on May 17th. Mm -hmm. You guys make sure to set those calendars, the season finale of Hellcats. Thanks so much for joining us today on Clever TV. I'm Jocelyn Davis with Dane Award and Heather Hemmins, and we will see you guys next time. Bye.